Many banks have over a thousand active Nostro accounts that collectively hold hundreds of millions of dollars. This isn't uncommon. It's simply the cost of doing business in transaction banking. This creates several problems for banks. First, it's inefficient. The required funds for large Nostra networks are immense and sit idle. Second, it's costly. The unavoidable manual reconciliations result in high costs. And third, it's risky. The exposure to both counterparty and foreign exchange risk is high. And because of this, we know that solving for real-time payments is only half the battle. The other half is solving for our customers' global liquidity pain points. We're solving these pain points through RippleNet, a global network of financial institutions using the same technology, rules, and governance. Through RippleNet, we're helping customers overcome their liquidity pain points in two ways. First, through flexible options to support customers' existing liquidity arrangements, as well as to supplement them with new arrangements, including third-party liquidity and settlement through digital assets. Second, through pathfinding, which is the ability to link multiple liquidity arrangements in a single transaction, smart routing across the network to gain a variety of net new benefits. Banks can choose between a number of liquidity arrangements to optimize for costs, risks, and capital efficiency. Let's overview the three liquidity arrangements supported by RippleNet. First are bank-to-bank -bank fiat relationships, also known as Nostro account relationships. We support this model so that customers can leverage their existing relationships. This enables the banks that are provisioning liquidity to earn FX revenues, making it ideal for strategic high-volume corridors. With this liquidity arrangement, Bank A and or Bank B would have a Nostra account with the other bank, pre-funding it in the destination currency. Or there could be a credit relationship with the two banks. Second are third-party liquidity arrangements, which allow banks to rationalize their Nostra relationships, keeping only relationships they want versus the ones they need. This enables banks to overcome the costs from corridors where liquidity can be expensive. This is an ideal option for medium volume corridors. With this liquidity arrangement, a third party would open foreign currency accounts at both financial institutions for them to use for payout in each country. Third is the ability to settle payments via a digital asset, XRP. XRP's speed, scalability, and cost make it the ideal bridge asset for cross-border payments. This allows banks to grow their payments volume and reach without accumulating more direct liquidity relationships. With XRP's trading volume at higher daily average than most exotic currencies, it makes it an ideal bridge asset for payments into exotic corridors. With this liquidity arrangement, each bank either holds XRP directly or leverages an exchange to source XRP. This serves as an on-demand, fungible liquidity pool that can be used for payments. RippleNet resolves today's liquidity pain points in these ways. It's more capital efficient. The diverse options for liquidity provisioning allow banks to shrink their Nostra network. It costs less. The atomic pass-fail processing automates reconciliations, saving 60% in operational costs. And finally, it reduces risk. The real-time settlement and fewer direct relationships decrease overall risk. At Ripple, we're not just solving for better technical connectivity between banks, we're also solving for the other side of the equation, global liquidity. To learn more, please contact us at ripple.com.